welcome back to Spoonsville. And it's gonna be part dos uh, of movies we really just could not finish. We tried, uh, some of them we didn't try. Some of them were like, hell to the no, let's get out of here. Um, uh, uh, so this is starting up part two. Uh, first one, uh, failure to launch. Failure say that right? to failure launch. Failure to launch. Um, Which I don't remember. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't either. I just remember we did watch it. Tried to. Uh, Matthew McConaughey, Bradley Cooper. Remember Bradley Cooper's in it? Because they had that guy. You're like, I don't really believe either of these guys would be so inept with like dating and picking up women. What happens in Failure was, to Launch? Oh, the, as far as we got was Matthew McConaughey is living with his parents. And the parents are like, oh, you know, we got to hire someone to like get him to move out or something. Oh, and yeah. And then so they hire <laughs> um, the woman from Sex and the City. Her job is to get men to move out of their parents' place. So she like huh. kind of tries to seduce them, I guess. Yeah. That was about as far. It was just. <sighs> what was it that hurt? It was unfun. It was. The, it was a really tough, uh, it was a very stretch, like, you just I couldn't, unbelievable kind of premise, and it was just, the humor and the interactions and the idea was just lacking all luster, wasn't it? I don't remember a lot, I just, I remember Matthew McConaughey was in there, and then Bradley Cooper, I feel yeah. like that was, was that one of the first Bradley I Cooper so. movies? I think so, yeah. But I, it was, it was just, I, I don't know, and you just, like, just the overall, like, the, the the movie itself was just slow, even though it's one of those movies that they really try to cut to the next scene quickly because I feel like they think their audience is going to lose interest. But even with them trying to make things speedy, it still feels so slow. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey is going to be uh, struggling to to meet women. You know, I, don't know, I don't believe it. Didn't, didn't it rub, definitely did not work didn't for us. Didn't yeah. the right way. Yeah. 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 I just, uh, yeah, I wasn't gripped. And it's not even because we're fussy. We're not fussy. We watch <laughs> romantic movies yes. that are not even deep. No. That are no. just light and you just yeah. want to have a nice, easy, breezy yeah. day, you know? Yeah. But this just didn't, uh, yeah, yeah. Just even for a light, easy, breezy, yeah, romantic it. comedy, it didn't work. No. Oh, let me scroll down. The stand-in. Didn't make it much farther in that one. Oh, that God. with, um... What's her name? Ah, uh, first dates. Um, 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 Drew. Sure. Actually, Drew Barrymore. Barrymore. I like Drew I Barrymore. Do too. I know her story. Yeah. She comes from just yeah, pain and story. anguish. I've never actually met her. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't. I've not. I've not met her. I like her. Yeah, she's a yeah. good. She's a good spirit. <laughs> and so, I think this movie wanted to be serious, right? I feel yeah. like it needed. It was a, the kind of movie that she was hoping, you know, this is this is my serious role yeah. because she plays a lot of times romantic comedies, which yeah. she's great in. But this was her potentially her trying to get into something yeah. more serious, and I just, I God, it just did not work at all. Yeah, just again, didn't it's, care. It, it, uh, it didn't work. Talking about like what details that are important for me in movies, and then details that aren't oh i like just detail in general but it, they, she kept having the same catchphrase but for each totally unrelated unre movie and i'm like i don't know does that ever happen low effort low effort very low effort yeah, it's just it's tough to want to keep going i didn't yeah. feel the need to find out what happened it's yeah those, yeah know. it's definitely not yeah not good yeah. Eh. death to 2021 that, that one we didn't last long with either it was, was, was that even a movie that was, it, it was, was kind of like a documentary. Technically, a movie. It was docu. a fictional documentary. Oh yeah, it was the length of a movie on Netflix, and they it, oh, yeah. they had celebrities that were there was scripted, and they would talk about things that happened in twenty twenty one. But then it just started to get more and more absurd and ridiculous, and you're like, okay, well, you're pretending that it's an actual documentary, but it's clearly no way this is actually happening. I mean, I think that's yeah. the thing. That's the point, right? They were right. That's the idea. That's the supposed idea. To be funny. Yeah, right. it's supposed to be Imagine a this pretend, is just, pretend documentary. Yeah. But obviously, it was kind of like was it looking up? What was that yeah, movie that we did? Don't, like don't, don't look, look up. Yeah, it was like don't look up. I, don't, I just I don't really enjoy Lucy Liu being just kind of angry at politics. It was just snooty and snide and jeering. I don't like movies that are just jeering. Does that make sense? And explain it more, baby. I like what. <laughs> it just didn't seem witty to me. It didn't seem reasonable, you know? I felt like, you know, be a little bit smarter. Mm -hmm. You know, even people who agree with you would expect that you'd actually yeah. um, present your views in a way that's just kind of like put more of an yeah. effort into things. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
That was that was that. that one. Does this one count? The last letter from your lover. I think. Did you end up finishing that one? I we didn't I finish totally it. I totally did initially. not finish that okay. one. Okay, so it still counts. I don't. I didn't. I tried. Really, I did. And the reason yeah. I tried was because I knew that you hated it. I didn't like it either at all. Yeah, but we struggle because we are obviously have a review, a movie review channel, and yeah. so every time I'm watching a movie alone, yeah. I try to make it a movie that we wouldn't want to review right. or that we wouldn't really like. Right. But some of the movies are so bad. This is we actually try to watch this. The last letter from your right. lover. We try to watch this together, yeah. hope, thinking that maybe yeah. it's something that could be reviewed. But it was just rough. Yeah. Yeah. You know, not to even say that, well, it's because there were no big names in it, so I, I didn't like any of the... Because, you know, there are movies with totally unknowns that I like. It wasn't drawing me in emotionally, connecting to the characters, connecting to the anything. There was nothing for me that I was connecting to. Kind of like um, off-brand peanut butter. It was a little bland. A little <laughs> chunky, you know? It was a little crumbly. Yeah. Chunky peanut butter, though, is good. You know, with yeah, the, with the unless nuts. it's crumbly. Well, yeah, I'll keep it's crumbly. It's hold its chunk, you know? Wasn't yeah, holding its chunk. It wasn't holding its. It was. It wasn't yeah. holding its chunk. It was okay. and dry. Yeah. <laughs> Give us some juice. Yeah. Give, Give us, us something juice. more. It really didn't. Yeah. So I felt like. Tough. It was. <sighs> no juice. Zero juice. Zero juice. Uh, paper towns. Paper towns. Uh, all I know about it is it's based on a book, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was. Did I know anyone? Did I? Know? Recognize it? the guy from Wallflower the was guy. there, was he? The guy. I we re he? recognize the guy. I just can't remember which yeah, movie he was remember. in. There are two types of like high school coming of age movies. <laughs> They're the ones that are good and they're the ones that aren't. There's the ones that Someone died and they used to hang out a lot and then someone dies and then they found this person who died who who's dead. Okay. They find a dead body. Right. And, he was and really then, fucked up. And then right. she changes and she starts one oh, okay. doing things like uh, exploring or whatever, right, leaving in the right. middle of the night, and tries to have him leave with him at the in the middle of the night. Right. They're kids at this point, and right. he's he, he's like, I don't want that. Oh yeah. And so then he just she just does that on on her own, and right. that they their relationship kind of ends from there, and right. she becomes popular and super cool. Right. Glad you remember. And so she walks past him at right. school. They're still right. in the same school. They live across right. from each other, but yet, and they had this. They were friends um, when they were kids, and yeah. then all of a sudden. She just acts like she doesn't know him, right. which is so annoying. Mm, My God, are there yeah. people who do that? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. So you get the sense that she's important. Mm. And I'm like, why would someone who does that, why would that person be important? Right. You know, why right. are we making her seem so, right. like such an incredible person? Right. Um, but she walks past this guy who right. they used to be friends, you know? And so. Yeah, I guess that's that's the thing for me too, right? It's like. The way they have the dialogue or the, the characters and everything, it kind of already doesn't make me really like them. So I'm like, I don't really like the main character. I don't really like this person who's supposed to seem really interesting. Kind of had the half of it effect where this person is supposed to, you know, everyone's supposed to have a crush on this person, but they just seem boring. So yeah. I think that was for me with Paper Towns too. I was like, I just don't really care. don't really care about anybody in it. don't really care what happens. I don't know. I think it was also the friends. Don't you remember the friends were really... Oh yeah, they're really crass. really annoying. Why would we would we are we supposed to like these characters? That's the problem. Is I'm like okay, I guess I'm I'm not the demographic here because you know, yeah. I don't find that stuff interesting. I don't get it. Why do they make movies like this? They know. continue to do that, and I, I just don't get it. Some Who likes like, that? Some people like it. Some people just find anything mean funny. I think. Oh, well, no, not my taste. Yeah, not definitely bag. not. So that's that's about yeah. it. Yeah. I feel like there's another movie that well, wasn't that, that's, here. That's, that's, Runaway that, Bride? That, well, no, but that's for part three. The second best Marigold Hotel. We barely watched that one. I don't even remember that one. It was, it was Judy Dench and the guy from Slumdog Millionaire. And we got like two minutes in. While you were sleeping. While you were sleeping. Sandra Bullock is like early 2000s or... No, it was older than that, I think. 90s. And uh, in her heyday. Sandra Bullock heyday. And, uh, yeah, what is it? She, she works at a toll booth kind of thing. She has a crush on this guy that doesn't notice her because, you know, he's just going about his day. He goes into a coma. Oh, she saves him from, like, a train. She works at the train booth station. I can't exactly remember. Yeah, he falls yeah. onto he's the train tracks. He's and then he's coma. unconscious. And she saves him yeah. from being run over by the train. Yeah. Because she's right. in love with this guy who right. doesn't even know her. Right. And she says something to herself. Oh, yeah. At the hospital, and right. then the, a nurse overhears and right. assumes right. that, um, based on what she said, that they are engaged, and then tells the family that, and then the family just runs with that, and then she's right. like, oh, okay, and then yeah. she gets it in her, her head, or someone gets it in her head, 
that, okay, I can't tell these people that we're not engaged because it's going to break their hearts. They're right. so happy about me being engaged to this person. And so I'm just going to run with it. Yeah. She runs with it forever. Yeah. On top of it, just generally being kind of not super intriguing. We kind of, I think we're both feeling, I don't know. No if one would do that. No one would do it. Or if you do that, then that's a really uncool move. And then yeah. it doesn't really make me want to hope that things turn out for this character. It's a really sleazy move, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's and, like, and, then the, and then she goes about hiding it. That's the worst yeah, part. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. Her boss is the one. She her, she tells her boss about it. Uh, and the boss is like, oh, you know, you, you can't say the, You can't be honest and tell them that, mm -hmm. you know, because it's going to they're already struggling with the fact that this yeah. guy's in a coma. And so you can't be honest. Just like write it out. Bad advice. Bad advice. <laughs> Honestly, the movie sucks yeah. for that. It's just tough. It's you know, incredibly unrealistic. I like movies when generally, especially when the characters are trying to give advice, if they're meaning to. You know, obviously, sometimes you want to have characters give bad advice and then that causes issues to happen. But it's nice when there's a movie where there's just there, there is some good wisdom in there. And this thing was just how do we contrive this person to find herself in the most awkward situation possible? And it's just it's tough to care to keep going with that stuff because you're like, it's uncomfortable, but not in a, oh, this sucks for her. She really got herself into a pickle. It, yeah. It's an unreal pickle. It's not a real pickle. Yeah, you know, and it's uncomfortable I need the for me to feel too. Real. Yeah. Because I'm like, I don't like watching this. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like, oh, they're gonna catch her, and and then it's gonna be this whole thing. And 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 obviously, you know how with these movies, there's always a twist, right? Where people end up forgiving her and loving her yeah. at the end. This is what I think is gonna happen in the movie because I've seen a lot of movies like this. Unfortunately, I think what happens is that the guy gets out of the coma. She doesn't even fall in love with the guy in the coma. She falls mm. in love with the brother. Ah, uh, yeah. Because the brother starts, you know, wondering, like, uh, oh, right. poking around, trying to figure out, because he You're doesn't right. really believe right. that yeah. these people are engaged. And I feel that they be, they fall in love. And that's my, that's that's what I think happens. Yeah, reasonable for um, and I hate those kinds of movies that just keep you that yeah. keep you uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh my God! When are they gonna find out? They're gonna find out <laughs> that she's lying. Yeah. I hate that. It yeah. never. It's never even a relief yeah. when I when they finally when things yeah. finally come out and everybody yeah. forgives them. It's like I didn't need to go through that. God. Okay. Make sure the continuity is good. Am I under the same? That was a bunch of other movies we could not finish, and it hurt. Oh wait, it cut, about it it, it, should we like... Literally like we were done talking about it. <laughs> we were completely done while we were sleeping. Couldn't get through. It sucked. <laughs> Battery died. Battery died. And so... We were just finishing up the Sandra Bullock movie. Yeah. Yeah. We're not even going to recount what we said or... Not worth it. Yeah, definitely not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't even worth thinking about that movie. Yeah. It was a waste so, of my brain yeah. energy. So... Yeah, it hurt to have to remember all that stuff that was, uh, should not have been, but alas, here we are. Here we are. Thanks again for being here, joining us today. <laughs> Say bye, baby. Okay, bye. <laughs>